There's no reason to be nervous. I'm having my head examined. That makes me nervous. Wouldn't it you? Fair enough. No. I beg your pardon? This is not fair enough. It's not fair at all. Brady Hartsfield killed lots of people. He would have continued to do so had I not stopped him. Okay. What we're doing today isn't about Brady Hartsfield. Everything is about Brady. Well, whether or not that may be true, this examination today is not about your mental state at the time of the shooting. Rather, I'm only interested in your current state of mind and your ability to form a defense strategy. Do you have any experience with the legal system? My experience is that it doesn't work. Okay, could you elaborate on that? Well, not to dwell on Brady, which, as you say, this has nothing to do with. He killed many. He was finally caught, and instead of seeking retribution, the federal government filed a habeas corpus to get custody so they could study his brain and use him to benefit mankind. When the law sees in a serial killer a windfall for society, that tells me the law and the legal system are fucked. That tells me the founding fathers were right when they said do not trust the government. That tells me they were smart when they said just in case we better let the citizens arm themselves. Right now, my focus is whether you'll be able to effectively participate in this system. Whether you'll be able to contribute meaningfully to your own defense. Are you okay? Lou. Yes, I'm just processing your question. I can contribute to my defense because I must. I am on my own in the end, so I must. Tell me, what would you do if you disagreed with the judge's decision or a jury's? What would I do? Yes. Would you be able to stand up and argue? Would you be able to address a jury? Would you approach them, perhaps? Shoot them? That was a joke. A joke. Yes, a joke. Ha! A shooting joke. <laughs> hmm. Hi, I'm Kathleen Boddington, and I'm five foot eight.